What's crackalackin' everybody and welcome back to another Nestle video. So guys, today we've got an absolutely epic opening for you guys. It is a, a 1v1 match. It is Ando versus a whole flipping booster box. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs. We're gonna try and do this whole booster box in one video. You know what that means. You gotta go to the jungle supply warehouse, get all your jungle supplies because we're gonna be camping out and doing this whole video in one set. Uh, so make sure you get yourself comfortable, put your feet upon the desk, go make yourself some popcorn, because this is going to be an absolutely long ride. So uh, once again, this booster box was supplied by Jordan or Jordan Japan, so thank you very much for supplying it. Uh, that is going to be so awesome, I cannot wait to get into this one. It is a uh, Japanese red collection for everyone that's wondering, and I'll show you the artwork once I get the seal off. It is so cool! They've got like every single Pokemon's picture on the front here. Alright, can you name all those Pokemon? No, probably not. That's a ridiculous task. But look how awesome this is. We got all the different like artworks here. Turn it to the side. We got AR uh, Landorus and all that on the side there. Then we've got the insanely awesome Barco. Oh, that's so hashtag cray. Uh, and then we've also got a whole nother bunch of pictures, and on the side there, and on the other side we've got those pictures. And I think it's first edition. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs. This is going to be epic. Let's go straight into it. It is Noble Victory's uh, English equivalent, so you know what that means. We're going to go for that secret rare Meowth that we've never been able to pull. I know, I know, it's going to be... Oh gosh, where's the opening? This is not as tall as the uh, other booster boxes. I'm used to it being like really tall up. Anyway... Alright, let's open the wings up. Let's get... Oh my goodness gracious, what a video this is going to be. I don't know how fast I'm going to be able to do this, but we'll try my best. Oh dear me, guys. That was an epic opening. I just trimmed off the tops. Look at this. Look at this. It's like raining, flipping, I don't know, red stuff. That's what it is. This is insane. I trimmed off every single top of those booster packs because, let's face it, Ando is probably the world's worst booster pack opening. And uh, the last thing we want to do when we're opening a whole booster box in one video is watch Ando open some booster packs. So I've got them all open here. I haven't had a look inside them. Uh, I just trimmed the tops off so we could actually see what's inside. Let's go. Our very first boost pack of Red Collection, and uh, the card trick in Red Collection is two from the back, so you guys know. Uh, I think they changed it up in the X and Y, or I don't, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this must have been the black and white thing, like two from the back or something. But uh, we'll go from here, let's see what we can get. By the way, guys, I have a fantastic joke for you after this uh, burst back opening. It is gold. Alright, so it looks like we get a Heat More, I'm pretty sure that is, and a Karaskotter uncommon card there so yeah as you guys know the uncommons or commons you can pull in japanese packs you're not guaranteed a rare you know how angry i'd be if i was a japanese kid i'd be like no seriously english people get so much of a better bargain like we we're guaranteed we're always guaranteed a rare but if you're in japan no you you're not you're just flat out denied one you have to get an uncommon or a common so you pretty much you have to buy a boost box but you know what if you're in japan you get all those pokemon release dates like really early so i don't blame it that's cool but uh but yeah, they get kind of ripped off. So here we go. Our next rare is, oh my gosh, another trainer card. That looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh device, something you'd play like Yu-Gi-Oh cards on. Anyway, all right. So my flipping joke of the day. Who's ready for this one, all right? Uh, <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this relaxed boost back opening. Uh, anyway, the joke of the day. What if, if a poke... Okay, I've already stuffed it up. If a Pokemon could be a pirate, which Pokemon would be a pirate? All right, leave a comment in the comment section below. It would be an Arceus. Ah, 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 oh dear, that is too funny. Oh my gosh, I'm actually crying. We got a Seismitoad there as our uncommon, and then a Dino as a common card. So it looks like you get common cards as well. Um, as your regular rare or the last slot, that's pretty weird. Oh dear, sorry. Choked my own words there. But yeah, how good is that joke anyway? Arceus, get it? Because it's R and that's what a pirate says? No? Alright, fair enough. But uh, but anyway, we'll continue here. We got a Lampern as our regular rate. Yes, we bought our first holo, guys. That is right. Look what we got. It's, uh, oh my gosh, it's Kabolion, I'm pretty sure. That is awesome. Look at all the rocks and stuff around there. And we've got the lined hollows back, guys. I know so many people will be happy about this. Guys, we're hit, like we're hitting up the lines again. How good is this? Um, yeah, look at that card. Like everywhere you look, it's a hollow shot. Like, you could walk up to someone and go, BAM, and then just blind them. Like, they wouldn't be able to see again. Because look how shiny those uh, old-school black and white hollows are. They are, like, on a whole new level, let me tell you. All right, let's go. So the advertisement on this sort of thing, there's not too much on there. I think it's literally advertising the set. Like, uh, yay, Victini's on the set, I guess. That's probably what it's saying. I don't know. I'm, I'm just making that up. We got a Gigalith here. We got a Dwebble, and then another Hollow. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I just had some Subway, but yes, we bought another Hollow. That is epic. 
So it looks like now we've got a Kiram and a Kabolion, one after each other. Is this going to be an awesome boost pack or what? All we need now is like a full art pull because you can't get EXs or that secret rare, which is probably going to be impossible. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed for a full art pull or something. So we get that holo Kiram. That is totally epic. Look at his blue eyes, by the way. Victini is like a lady dropper. He just goes, hey, ladies. And they're like, oh, and they just fall to the floor. Like, look at them. They're so blue. You know what, I think he might have got plastic surgery. We don't want to say anything, but uh, that might have been the case. I don't know. All right, so we'll go uh, two from the back there. We got that Rocky helmet, which has rocks in it, which can't be too safe, so I don't know why it's a helmet. We got Ming Chao, and then, no, no way. Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? Three hollows in a row. We're on a hat trick, ladies and gentlemen. It is a Haxorus with all those action marks and stuff there. That is so epic. That is our third one in a row. Red Collection is my man. That is right. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. Let's do this one. Let's shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Blow it for me. Whew. This is going to be the fourth pack with a hollow in it. You know what? i got a feeling. If it is, I'm... Oh, my gosh. I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably jump up and down. But this would be crazy. All right. Two from the back. Let's do this one. All right. What do we got here? This is a Chandelure, I'm pretty sure. You can't tell. The Japanese artwork is that good. All right, Mean Shao. We got a Tyne Mo, and then I think the next one is our. Is this gonna be a holo? Is this? Oh gosh, no. Is that the final? No. Oh man, what an anticlimactic ending that was. That was the holo. Oh, that's all right. Next pack. This is gonna have it. You know what? Let's pretend that pack didn't matter, and let's go with this one. This is definitely gonna have something in it. One from the back. Can you imagine if it had a full art of something in there. Ho! Oh, and it would die. All right. <laughs> Alright, we got a Karaskata there, we got a Pylo Sand, we got the Pink Rock Energy, and then we have a Golet, or is that Golet? No, it's Golet there. He's like pounding through the grass, he's like, on my way to find my KFC for the day. And we're like, heck yeah, man, I heard the 12 pieces for $12 deals on, he's like, oh my gosh, I am there. One for the back, let's do this one. Oh my, are you serious? I think I see some shine. This cannot physically possibly be, this is not right. Alright, we got a Duran, no! It is Victini! I don't want to say E, I was about to say EX, but that is so crazy. We pulled a holo Victini right now. That is, are you serious? That's the mascot of the set. Look at that bad boy. He knows what's up in the hood. He's like, yes, I'm dancing along. Oh my goodness. That is so epic. And that is such a nice card. Look at all those sort of like beehive shapes uh, in the redness up the top. Goes to darkness down the bottom. Artwork on that card is incredible. How many holos do you get in one box? I guess it must be an inflated holo increase because, uh... The EX ratio, like, it doesn't exist in this, so they'd have to op it, uh, they'd have to op it or op it, uh, I can't even talk. They'd have to up it on the hollows to be able to compensate for the uh, EXs, so that's cool. I like my hollows, you know what, that is completely fine. So, uh, here we got an Axu, and then we've got the Golet looking pretty cool there as an uncommon card. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to get an upped amount of uh, hollows, and hopefully... How many ER Ultra Rares do we get per booster box? Is it two or one in this? Hopefully it's two, like, fingers crossed, but, uh... I got a feeling it's only going to be one because uh, of the upped holo ratio. But anyway, we got a Frillish dancing along with another shiny Frillish. And then that is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. It is a tsunami swallowing up that Hydreigon there. I'm pretty sure it's a Hydreigon. That is so epic. Another holo to add to our collection. How many are we talking here? We've got like six or five holos. Yes, and we're only like halfway through this booster box. Who is enjoying it right now? Drop a comment in the comment section below. And uh, look, Ando has another joke for y'all. Oh my gosh. Isn't this the best video ever? Alright, who's ready for the lame joke 101? Alright, ready, ready? What does one Geodude say to another? Let's rock. <laughs> Let's rock, because it's a rock. Oh my gosh, it's a Verizion. It is a hollow Verizion after that joke. He is, that's a real knee slapper, that joke. That is a real knee slapper, but this is awesome. So we get a first edition hollow Verizion, which looks so cool. I have lost my marbles right now. I don't know. This has gone... Never open a full booster box in one sitting. It just sends Ando way too crazy. Of too much epicness. Verizion, that is so cool. I think there is a full-up version of Verizion that uh, I got in a Mailman Monday once. And I think that's the one you pull in the set. And also, I'm pretty sure the English version of Noble Victory, it's like the full arts, they're not scratchy shiny. Like, the scratchy, like, if you pull a, if you pull out a full art or shiny, they usually got lumps on the card, so you can sort of scratch them, they make a noise. In the, uh, what is it, English version, they're just flat. They're boring, flat, shiny, full art cards. Who likes boring, flat, shiny, full art cards? Nobody. So, uh, yeah, that's a quick, oh my goodness. This is Terrakion, my man. Let me introduce you guys. That is so epic. And look at all the rocks around him and stuff. That is so cool. Terrakion is my bud. And he's got a, a 90 attack and a 30 attack and 130 HP up there. What an epic destroying card that is. This is an amazing booster box. We're talking hollow after hollow after hollow. This can't get any better. Seriously, I'm I'm stoked to see what the ultra rare is going to be. 
I can just pitch. It's gonna be some sick uh, full art. I didn't look up the uh, full art list, by the way. Oopsie. I don't know. I, seriously, any full art is amazing in my books. There we go. We'll get our first bad pull. That is a common card. What a ripoff. We got a common card as our last one. You know what? No complaints there. We've had, you know, our luck or our, our run we've got so far. Let me tell you. Fantastic. I don't have to tell you. You guys are viewing it right now. Two from the back. Let's go. We got a Heat more there, kicking it like nobody else. We have a Tynemo jumping out of the water, a Jellison, I'm pretty sure. Then a Landorus Hollow. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. That is what I'm talking about. My brother to Thunderous, my man. That is my G, G, G. That is so cool. What an awesome looking card there. Look at all that shine. Oh my good, and it's got the same uh, artwork as Victini if you notice, all that like B stuff, that is epic, so uh, yeah, we got a Landorus there, Hollow, holy moly ravioli, I think we got like 4 or 5 packs to go, I don't think we're going to get another Hollow in this, because we've pulled so many Hollows, like, oh my, I think I'm going to do a recap at the end, because we're, this is insane in the membrane, so uh, we got a La Vesta, a Seismitoad, and a Cofferigus, uncommon there. Okay, third to last, or is this fourth? I think this is fourth to last pack. Alright guys, we're getting there. Are you serious? How quickly have we opened a whole booster box? This has been too hashtag cray for me. Alright, what do we got? That's Terrascotta Shell. Somebody robbed Terrascotta. Guys, call the police. 911. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh my goodness! Someone needs to call 911 for my heart attack I'm having right now. This is insane. Look at that. I think that's Electros, is it? That is so ridiculous. Another hollow. I'm beginning to think this box is like weighed, but that's not possible. What? I, you, look how many hollows we've pulled, guys. If you go... Uh, oh, I can't even talk. You know what? Words. They're not going to come out, so let's not try and make them come out. So, uh, alright, let's keep going. we got a bishop here. We have a time modes evolved for Ming Chao. And then we got our regular uncommon, which is another Karaskotta. Alright, second to last boost pack, guys. Come on. I really want to pull a full It's either going to be in one of these two. Okay, let's uh, calm down. Let's shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Blow it for me. Whew. Let's hope this has it. If it doesn't, we'll do the roller coaster on that one. You know what? It's going to have it. So I will get advertisement from the back. One from the back. Here we go, guys. Second to last booster pack. We can do it. I got a feeling. I got a bit of an inkling that this is going to. No! No! Oh! Oh! No! Oh my god. No! Get back. Get back. It's the devil. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. Did you guys see that? Did you guys. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Are you see. No. What? That's a Japanese shiny meowth. No, I, I'm shaking. No, what? No, holy mac and cheese and meatballs in my pants. What a card that is. Look how epic that is. And it's got the uh, lumpy surface as well. Look how awesome this card is. You don't know how much I've wanted this for so long. And like, it's got the beaming light of the sun in the background all going around his crest. And the crest is down the bottom there. Holy moly, I've never had a Japanese shiny. Like, don't get me wrong. They are the coolest things on the planet, English ones. But Japanese ones, they're on some next level. Like, look at that. I think it's worth more as well in Japanese. That is so... What a pull! Leave a comment in the comment section below if you like this card. Like, I would go this over a full art any day. Just because, like, I love the texture. I love the way the artwork is done on this card with the crest down the bottom there. It is a ultra rare number 72 out of 66. So how many secret rares are there? Gosh, there must be heaps. But, uh, but yeah, this is so epic with me out there. Uh, he's got his awesome looking crest, that is so cool. Um, yeah, he's just patting his face down, he's had a really nice uh, rainbow ice cream and he's just finishing it off. That is so cool! I can't believe that! We pulled a ultra rare! This booster box is literally the craziest thing I've ever opened in my life. And then we've got a chandelier to finish it off. So guys, let's do this one. Imagine if there was two ultra rares. Alright, we're gonna do this. Shake it up, show it on for me. We're doing the roller coaster. Whee! Alright. This is definitely going to have another ultra rare. I've got a feeling. Sorry about that. My camera sort of stops recording after 10 minutes. But let's do this one. Okay. And my man. Let's go. Okay. This is uh, definitely going to have it. I've got a really good feeling. We've got Dwebble here. We've got Mr. Ice Cream, man. And that is what I'm talking about when we say we got a Lampurns. Womp, 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 womp. That is all good, though, guys. Like, do not get depressed. Do not start feeling sad. Don't go uh, crying because, uh, seriously, you know what? This is what I'm talking about. We have an extra long, relaxed video for you guys today and did it. Like, it sufficed so well. Let's have what is known as the one, the only recap. So in the recap today, we pulled so many flipping hollows that look so epic. I'm just going to go over these really slowly for you guys. If you want to pause the video, admire the artwork. I do not blame you. Terrakion.
That is so cool. Uh, yeah, some of these cards are absolutely epic, and a lot of them, I don't think uh, a few of them actually made it to the English TCG. Like, they scanned a few bits of artwork, changed it up for the English TCG. So, uh, so yeah, it's really nice to see the Japanese booster box, and this red collection is treating me so well. I think it's making up for the lack of EXs and stuff with all the hollows they got in this set. No complaints there, though. And then with that epic pull, and can you believe that was, like, second to last as well? Like, I couldn't believe it. I, did, I thought we are going to get a full art. Like, there's no possible way we could pull a secret rare or an ultra rare secret rare. It's just so off the books for me. Like, I never pull the secret rares. I always pull the full arts. And we've pulled the card that I wanted to pull the most. Like, hardly ever that happens. So, holy mac and cheese and meatballs. Thank you again, Jordan, for sending this boost box. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below what you think of Ray Collection. I flippin' love this set now. Like, this is the best thing that's ever happened. I'm really keen to see what you guys think, so make sure you do leave a comment in the comment section below. Most winning sense, guys. What do you do? You tell me up, though. You make sure you keep on gaming. See you then, guys.